All right, there we go. Finally, sorry guys, I I I had that event last time, and like I said last time, the YouTube handles their events differently than their live stream, so I was streaming to the wrong server. So hopefully, there's not another weird blip of a stream that showed up. But hey, everybody, we're back. We're in Scrap Mechanic again. We're not doing any versus viewers thing. Just gonna be me building my boring old self as usual. What's up? Hi, hi. Second like person, hello there, hi, yo, what's up, hi, hello, hi, hoi, hi, 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 bye, okay, bye. Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. Um, you know, this, this stream stats are so behind, it says 19 people watching, but like there's more than 19 names in the chat, so like, and it says that you've only typed six and a half messages so far. In the last, in the last minute... You guys have typed six and a half messages. Like, come on. This is, there's no way that's right. But anyways, okay, so we're going to build. So here's what we're going to do. This is really laggy, so I want to get rid of some stuff right away. Like, mainly um, this. The plane, because the plane is really laggy. But this is a really old build. And I've had it for a while. And it's uh, the autopilot blimp with the, uh, with the biplane attached underneath it. So it's got a blimp in there. It's all, like, thruster powered, so it's kind of excessive like there's just there's just way too many thrusters everywhere but it's really well balanced you can see like it's not moving and that's thrusters holding it up six pounds six 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 super chat thanks so much got our what got rsi from reloading i uh, okay I, I don't know what that is thank you for your six pounds or six euros um but yeah this is uh it's an autopilot blimp so it I, I think it still works. I'm not sure. It, I mean, it's still keeping itself balanced, which is good. It doesn't have any sensors, by the way, that's reading the ground. Like, it's literally just keeping itself balanced based on pure, like, amount of thrust versus weight. So, it's just a lot of effort. So, um, we'll open that up. I think, I, I mean, it should work. So, hold on. Actually, you know, let's go up inside here. So, if you guys haven't seen this before, this is, a, like, an old, old build. One of the top videos on my channel. But, um, we've got the gyro in the back here, right? So, the gyro is adjusting the tilt. And then we've got these sort of weird assemblies here. So these are the primary lift thrusters. And they'll actually, you can see them adjusting themselves to account for the gyro movements and stuff. So it's a little bit fancy. Another one there too. It also means when the blip tilts, uh, the thrust is always going up. So that was kind of a thing. Put a gun on it. I mean, okay, maybe. Make it uh, eventually. But not, like right now, I, I just want to make it fly with helium. So anyways, I don't know if I want to remove the gyro. I probably will to start. We're going to just gut the whole thing. And then put helium blocks everywhere and then hopefully make it fly. So that's that's going to be the objective is first make it neutrally buoyant with helium. And then we have to have adjustable stuff so that uh, when it accounts for the weight of the plane, there is extra stuff for when the plane gets in it. And uh, so we've got to deal with all that. And then we've got to redo this stuff, which is the uh, control scheme for all the autopilot stuff. I'm just going to gut all this and we're just going to redo it. You see we've got an old WASD converter here. So we're just going to take all that out and then, uh, oh yeah, we've got a hatch that goes up to the, I, I, I haven't been in this build in like forever. So can we, can we get up here? Here we go. Uh, hatch. There we go. Perfect. Look at this. And then we can get right up on top of the roof. So we keep all that, but, uh, definitely going to gut it, put helium blocks in it, make it fly with helium, make it autopilot. And then at some point in time, I'm going to rebuild the biplane that was attached to it with the wings mod and then have the both of them together again as like, you know, the modded version of it. So it's. It's not just using thrusters because obviously this was using thrusters and hopefully the modded version will be a lot easier to actually get the blimp, you know, the, the plane to mesh with the blimp. I'm not really sure. We're still going to need thrusters to make this thing move but and, and to make it turn, but uh, to make it float, we're going to use the helium mod. But to, to move and turn, we're still going to use thrusters inside of it because, uh, yeah. So anyways, um, well, we got to hit the switch there. There we go. And then, I mean, I'm hoping the controls still work. I really don't know if any of these controls work. I honestly haven't tested it. So, um, let's go, let's go up. I, I don't remember what's one. Okay. One is forward. Does the, oh, the WASD converter. Okay. Hold on. The WASD converter doesn't work. See, that's completely busted. We got to Oh, sponsor Noah. What's up? Welcome to the what 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 are people asking for what are people asking for shout outs i mean we can we can we can do some shout outs that's you know i i asked for a shout out in a stream and i didn't get it you know i was very disappointed i understand it all right so we're just gonna so, so i think this works so it it prevents you from going any more tilted than this it kind of bobs a little bit so i want to keep that functionality 
and prevent it from tilting anymore. I want it to be neutrally buoyant, and I do want it to tilt up to go up. So you can see, as we go up like this, it actually tilts all the... I can, can you tell? There you go. You see, it's tilting all the thrusters. And then if we get up here, we should still be going straight. So this is... It should even... I think it... Did it level itself out? It looks pretty level. And then press 2, and it should autopilot turn to the left. I think. And, like, it should... Is it... Is it... Is it on? It's on. Is it... Is it... Okay. Is the autopilot broken now? I mean, it used to work. It seems like we're... Oh, no, there we go. They're returning. Okay, it just... It's really, really slow. All right, that's cool. So, yeah. So, now this thing is... It's flying itself. So, like, we can just stand back here. And we've got this nice observation deck. So, I want to keep the deck pretty much the same. I just want to make the same kind of functionality with the autopilot and stuff, but uh, definitely change it so that there's not... Oh, yeah, there's all these buttons there. There you go. So you can see it's it's giving it the left turn, and then the logic will go back and straight. And it's a really simple autopilot. It's just, like, timed and stuff. There's nothing too fancy about it. Um, hopefully we don't run into the wall there. But anyways, we'll, we'll go back down to that plateau. This is a really good map for this blimp, actually. But, yeah, we'll go back down to that plateau, and then we'll rip all this out, put it all helium inside of it make it neutrally buoyant put some thrusters to turn rebuild the autopilot and uh, hopefully this thing will be a lot less laggy with with the helium I, I i don't know i'm hoping it will be and then yeah we'll have it do the the same kind of thing we'll have to definitely um yeah it's pretty good all right where are we going all right you know let's just let's take control of this again here we go let's turn and then we'll go down uh, yeah, the WASD converter is so broke. So we definitely need to change that as well. I want it so you can steer with, like, WASD to pitch up, pitch down, left and right. Probably gonna need a gyro again to make sure that we don't over-pitch. But I'm not... I, we'll, we'll get to that when we get there. We'll see how, how this all works. Maybe we just use helium blocks in the front and the back. It's not really realistic, but if we... Uh, you know what? We'll see what happens. I, I honestly don't know. We might not even need it. I'm, I'm, the helium blocks, I'm thinking might just level it back out. That's my guess. Why is he where I can't even go down. I want to go down. Oh, I have to I have to press pitch down to go down. Noah with the two Euros, shout out to all the peeps who want a shout out. Okay, well, you know what we'll do so while well, we're getting we'll do some stuff. How the blimp did you make that? Well the the blimp is I mean it's really easy. The shell of the blimp, I can't really claim credit for. I I used a series of circles and just used a circle generator to... Not a, like a code, but just a pixel circle generator to see it. You should use the wings mod for the back wings. I mean, I was debating on it. I want to do this with just a helium mod. It's so big, honestly. The wings, I don't think, are going to actually do anything. Like, if I were to put wings on it, I don't think it would actually have enough... Like, it's slow. The wings need speed to actually be effective. I don't think I could put enough wings on it to be effective. Um, but yeah, we're going to gut this whole thing. You should make the glass part on a bearing. I agree. The front glass should probably be redone. I think it looks kind of poopy. I think I did it like, that way just to save lag. Because, um, you know, lag is, is a problem with a build like this. So, we're going to have to... We're going to have to gut the whole thing here. So, we'll just put this on the lift. And yeah, we can, we can redo this after... I, I agree, it would have been cool if it was glass on a, on a bearing and then a flat piece of glass in the middle and then another glass piece on a bearing, but I think I did it to save lag. I think it was really, really laggy before, but um, we're going to leave this sort of jet thing, attaching thing as is, like the plane attaching thing. We'll probably end up changing that once I rebuild the plane, but for now, we're just, I, like, I'm not going to rebuild the plane, so I don't know. Uh, the gyro, like, I mean, I guess we can leave it. Is it, is it, look... It's a little, it's, oh, it's top heavy. It's a top heavy gyro. Well, that's a problem. All right, well, let's just, uh, let's just do this. There we go. And now it's no longer top heavy. Okay, so we're going to leave the gyro for now because we might still need it to sense tilt. I'm not really sure if we're going to need it or not. Uh, those sensors we can leave. That's for... You know, let's just start. Let's just start gutting controls, guys. This is gonna be. This is like I have a copy of this. Obviously, it's been saved for a long time, so I'm not really worried if we make a mistake. But yeah, we're just gonna gut every thruster in this whole thing and hopefully not um, break the game. Uh, get rid of these or gates as well. 
So this is going to be the first half of the street. Well, not really half, but this is going to be the first little bit here. I, I do apologize. It's not really that exciting. Make the glass white. Pablo Castro. What? Why is everybody... What? Pablo Castro is... Yeah, I saw it say my name. It's in Spanish, but like... Moombo is what? You you didn't finish that sentence. Moombo is streaming some Fortnite, I thought. Can I get a shout out, please? And how do I become a mod? I'd love to help, and I watch all your streams. Um, if you want to be a mod, like the... Uh, we, we're always around on like Discord. You gotta... Like, that's the main place to, to talk about mod stuff, but... If you're active on Discord, then when we need mods, we'll pick people. Like, we don't... I, I don't want people applying for it. Like, there's no application process or anything. Maybe at some point in time, we'll have to do it that way. But for now, we just kind of handpick people that we see are active on the Discord and in streams and stuff and are good people to make mods. That's usually how it goes. Alright, so we're just gonna get all this. You can see there's a lot of stuff here done for weight balance, which is going to have to change, of course, because we've removed all these thrusters, which is going to completely change all the weight balance, but uh, we should be able to do it. Don't know what that is. We're just going to, you know, let's put that down. Is this even width? It's even width. Okay, so that's, I don't think that matters for what we're doing. All right, that's gutted. We're going to leave this. Um, don't need those. What is that? That's for the door? Yeah, okay, we'll leave that. Get rid of this, because it's garbage. Perfect. Garbage. Oh, Puffy's here. Oh, boy. Well, Puffy's here. Um, yeah, I was told Puffy could take anything that's bad and make it worse, so I'm concerned now, because, um, you know, my streams are generally pretty bad. And so if we make it worse, then, you know, I mean, I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know what we're going to do. I don't want you to throw it to hurt with all these shoutouts, so I want to say out. Okay, say out to Sir Flip Flop. Welcome to the stream. Pablo Craster here. No, you shut up. Hey, Con. <laughs> That's an awesome name, by the way. Um, whoa, toxic. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for being so toxic, Puffy. I'm sorry. I'm bringing. I'm bringing Discord matters to the live streaming community of YouTube. Yes, our our Discord. I, it's uh, it's a very fun place. It's very friendly. It's very great for everyone. I don't even know, like, what is this for? What is this? This is above the, the cockpit. Is this, like, what is this? Oh, it's, okay, I see. Probably because when you get out of the seat. Okay, well, that's fine. We can we can do this. Um, like, I don't really think we need all these extra ore gates here. We're just gonna, we're just gonna get rid of all this garbage here. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. And then we'll do that. I think I think that's okay all right and then we've got uh, these two railings for some reason I, I don't even know why we'll leave all that stuff um, we'll delete all this and then we'll just um, you know what we'll just delete this we'll, we'll rebuild this after I'm not too concerned we can adjust the weight we'll leave these mount points for it because why not but yeah we'll just drop the whole thing off that's yeah, a piece of crap oh boy did i okay it's still pretty laggy though i'm not gonna lie like it's it's i was expecting it to get i mean i guess we still haven't taken out those two hanging bits i was expecting to get a lot less laggy though but uh, it's still pretty bad for some reason so i i really don't know what to tell you just, that's just scrap mechanic, I guess, to be perfectly honest. All right, guys, sorry. I know I, I haven't been reading chat very much. I'm pretty terrible at that. Uh, I'm just, I want to just, okay, there we go. Can I have a whisper out? Whisper out to Noah. Whisper out. Work sucks, but at least you get money afterwards. Yeah, can I have a whisper out? What's up, Pablo Castro? I've said your name like 14 times already. Atomic Nerd, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Can you please have a shout out? Shout out to Michelle Nick Nick Nickies Nickish Nick, Nick. How do you pronounce your last name? I honestly don't understand, guys. I'm so bad at reading names, and then YouTube is like international, so there's people all over the world, and I'm like, I don't even know. Yeah, yeah. Discord. The links for the Discord are in the description of the stream. 
Uh, they're also in the description of every video too. So yeah, it's, it's an open invite. You can always come join the Discord and chat. I'm usually there at least once a day uh, being a nuisance. And um, yeah, it's usually how it goes. All right, can we just uh, finish this up, please? There we go, delete all this. Uh, okay, put that back. Now the question is what, how much of this is hooked up for the gyros? Oh yeah, that's right. There's multiple levels of this stuff. Well, those are just or gates. Those are, oh no, it's just these four then. Wait, what are these? Hold on. Wait, what? What? That one's okay. That one goes to both. That one goes to, and just these two go to this side. What? You know what? We're just, we're just, it's, we're just going to remove all that. I don't even, I don't even know what all that's for. I really don't. We'll just, I mean, we'll leave the sensors on the gyro. I'll hook them up independently later somehow. I just, I don't understand what all that's for. And then we'll put a motor here in the middle. What the heck was I doing? Guys, I'm, this is why it's so hard to revisit old builds because you just, you have no idea what you're doing half the time with the stuff. You're like, why did I, why did I do this? All right, we'll leave that. Are those, that's good. Okay, and then we'll just delete all this. It was for the thrusters. Well, no, I know the gyro what, the, was controlling the thrusters, but I just don't understand why I had all the different levels of sensors on it. I know there was like, there was a tilt sensor, and then when you were using controls, you could override the gyro to an extent, but then it would reset itself. So that's why there were a few different levels, but I don't know what all the, this is like the logic gates were set up. I, I don't know. We'll reconfigure it. I am here. What's up, Ian? Welcome to the stream. Do you think they should add an option to the lift to delete a certain type of block? I mean, that would be cool. You can always use like, like, I'm sure you guys know, if you guys know who Brent Batch is, he's made like a blueprint tool and his blueprint tool can do all sorts of stuff like that. Like he can... Uh, delete blocks recreate the same blocks he can um, take a block and change it to a different type he can mass paint creations all sorts of stuff like that so there is like um, he's just like a modder and stuff you can find him he's always around in my discord he's got a youtube channel as well but uh, yeah he uh, he made an advanced blueprint tool which is quite useful if you want to mass paint stuff or you want to do like that like remove one specific type of block or something you can for sure do that. I would like to see the devs, though, add a, a simple mass paint to this. Like, you just, you know, shift click or something, and it paints the whole creation one color. Like, that would be that would be a useful feature to have, which we don't. But, uh, okay, so that's that. This looks a lot more empty without all the stuff in it. And then uh, we'll do this one. All right. All right, so it's, it's still a... It looks really empty with no controls in it. Okay, so we got three switches there, so which we'll keep that. One for forward, one for autopilot left, one for autopilot right. What is that? There's a gate there? Wait, what is... What's that gate for? Oh, sure. You know what? That can indicate that we're moving forward. Let's just, let's just, in case you're too, something like that, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, whatever. Those sensors, what were these sensors for? Oh, we took out the, oh, there were controllers for this stuff. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. What was the sensor for? Why would there, why would there need to be a sensor there? Thank you for using 24 hour time. Wait, what? I did? Use the wing mod for propellers. The wing mod is so slow for propellers, though. The propellers... I will do the wing mod for the biplane, for sure, once we get around to that. But the wing mod for propellers is really, really slow. That's why I want to use thrusters. Okay, I don't know what these sensors were for, so we're just going to remove them. Um, and I'll put some controllers in here. Right. There we go. I just wanted to hide these so they don't, you don't see them light up. 
Is that... There we go. So these are just the simple XOR gates we're going to use. And then that way we can have two switches, right? Two switches go to an XOR gate, go to a controller, go to that. And then... Right? Simple stuff. Bow, bow, bow. Okay, and then we got this. Right? Problem solved. Cool. All right. Are you going to use the advanced blueprint editor by Brent Batch to swap the blocks to helium? No, I'm not going to swap the blocks to helium. I'm just going to going to put helium blocks in the blimp. Like, I'm not going to swap all the wood here to helium because that would just be ridiculous. I'm going to keep all the wood structure as it is. And uh, I'm just going to actually fill, like, big, big chunks of helium blocks until we get this thing to fly. And we'll see how that goes. Um, I've never actually used the helium blocks. Well, I know that's not true. I use them for the, the thingy. So we're going to use helium blocks. And then we can use the air compressor blocks, which are adjustable weight when you turn them on to keep us buoyant. So we're going to have it excessively buoyant. And then we need it to have a ton of air compressor blocks in it to bring it down in weight so that when we load it up with the biplane, the biplane will add weight to it, but then we'll remove the air compressors to, you know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? We can always add more air compressors later, but for now we're just gonna try and make a point. So where's the local water? I don't need that. I need, no, we're gonna need drag blocks. Maybe? Probably not. Ballast? Not buoyant until you connect it to a switch. Okay, no, I don't, I don't need that. Small ballast, don't need that. Rudder, don't need that. Where's my helium? Helium activator. Check. Local helium activator, don't care. Uh, where's my helium block? Drag block. Relative drag block. Oh, it's up here. That's right, helium. All right, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to make this balanced, kind of, the gyro. Um, am I missing anything? Doors set, good. Two dollar super chat, two euro super chat from Noah. Can I have a wrap out? Um, I mean, if I tried to wrap, you would probably not classify it as wrap, and you would probably, you'd probably have to like gouge your own ears out afterwards. So we're, I'm just gonna save you guys all the trip to the hospital, cause like I really don't want people to have to jam forks in their ears, and uh, yeah, and and like you know that's an expensive medical bill if you live in the states. So I just want to make sure you know. Use the zero G mod. I mean, we could use the zero G mod, the the one that gives you no gravity. But I wanted to actually make it with the, the helium mod because then it's like a real blimp, right? Like it's helium, like a blimp would be helium. You like forks in your ears? Well, that's that's a problem. Oh yay, he thinks about us. Yeah, I do. I I want to make sure that you know no one's jabbing forks into their ears. I mean, come on. I if that's not considerate, I honestly don't know what is. Okay, so we need a helium activator. Um. Like I think because we have so much space, you know what? That's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna put there's gonna be our helium activator right there. Maybe you know what? Maybe not. Let's just let's just cover let's just cover this up. What are we doing, guys? What are we doing here? Honestly, what are we what do we even need? Okay, you know what? Let's just do we need well, like I'm gonna put one to start. I feel like one, one is a good number. We'll put it we'll put it right there. Okay. Are we off the lift now? We are off the lift. Okay, good. So let's, um, like, we're going to need a, a, a bajillion things of helium, right? Why does it look like it's moving? Is it falling backwards? Is it back heavy? Is it honestly, I made a, I made a back heavy. Are you serious? It's actually back. Oh my God. Okay. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. We'll just, it's fine. I can't believe I never actually tested this with without any thrusters in it because it always as soon as you put it on the lift like take it off the lift it uh, it activates so let's just put some helium in the back then first um, like just I guess we'll just start filling it until like we don't need to fill it anymore that's really what's gonna happen all right just layers and layers and layers of helium and then we'll just balance the weight after the fact Bow, bow. I really like these scripted mods, and I think I think with the helium mod, it should make a more consistent ship rather than with the thrusters. I feel like with the thrusters, there were still some issues with it, you know, bobbing up and down too much, which it shouldn't do. But I feel like with this, we can do this, and then with compressors to adjust. The, are we? Are we? We're not moving at all. We're just gonna. This is gonna take a while, guys. I'm sorry. I'm. I'm so sorry. 
What about knives? Wait, what? I don't think that's actually back heavy. It's just that balancing on a point too far forward. Yeah, that's. I think you're right. I mean, the it's designed to be pretty much even weight with the biplane attached to it. Which, it just took me way too long to build. I built this a long, long time ago. This is a... And then, of course, once we rebuild this, we'll have to get Cosmo back in as well to play. And uh, have to get Cosmo to, you know, try and try and help me fly the plane onto the, the blimp. We'll basically just remake the old blimp video because, you know... Cosmo was such an inspiration in there when he uh, destroyed the gyroscope and just ruined the entire video. It was good, though. Alright. Like, I, this is going to take so much helium, guys. I probably, you know what, I probably should have replaced all the wood with it, but you know what, it's fine. We could do more helium activators, too. Like, maybe two instead of one. Um, debating. What's the consequences of two? At least one of these must be placed near creation. You place more, the buoyancy force of the helium with it will increase. I know if you get to, like, five or six, it gets super glitchy. Let's just, you know what, let's just do, let's do two. That actually looks cool. It looks like kind of like a carbon fiber or nylon or something. Add a secret helium block. What? Please have a shout out. Doom3453. What's up? Welcome to the stream. First stream for me. Devoured game. Yo, love your builds. You help me learn how much how to make hovercrafts. You Scrapman and Komodo, you guys are my favorite. Awesome. Thanks, Devoured Gamer. Appreciate it. Matthew Hayes. Haas, Matthew Haas, Hayes, Sean Shampoo, can I help you, Cod? Looks like you need help building that blimp. I'm okay. Don't worry about it. I got, like, time to kill. That's why we're streaming. Why don't you make a garage in sense that you can, like, fly into? Oh, now, as soon as I start reading the chat, everyone starts shout out. Fun Crafter, what's up? King of Awesome, hello. Dragonfire, what's up? Jugu, Pablo, you've been shout out a million times. Cameo, Miner142, Kylie, Robert, Jack, Roblox, Gaming, 1, 2, 3, 4 idx gaming the awesome iron lego and cost game nord games official blue daniel i you know i could just sit here and read like names all day but uh you know then we never get the cg the cg nerd what's up welcome to the stream hey everybody hope you guys are having a good time we'll do more shout outs in a bit i do want to build more i got i can't wait to get this thing flying it's got to fly but we'll do two helium activators normally when i do the water creations with the water block i do two water activators so it's not too bad if you get to like you know 10 15 20 it gets pretty aggressive but um you know it's it, it, like it just starts to react really weird too much force two dollars super chat from war challenger you need to paint your channel image on the side oh oh like my logo yeah or at least i, I might put just the text because my art skills are kind of bad but we'll see gotta make the new the new blimp the old blimp is still a video on my channel for sure. It's just the uh, the new one, like I just wanted to remake the old one to be, you know, more usable. I'm hoping it'll be relatively lag free so I can actually use it. Because the, the old one was just so laggy with all the thrusters and bearings and connections. I mean, this should have really not a lot of connections and stuff because it's mostly just going to be a lot of helium blocks, right? And then a few of the weighted blocks and stuff to adjust our height in midair. Um, I don't even, like, we're still tilting back, aren't we? We still, we still, okay, guys, we're just gonna be, we're gonna be filling for a while. At least I don't have to remake the whole blimp design. That took way too long to do, by the way. Like, if, I, I did it um with a series of circles right so i was like all right i'm gonna do it with first i took an elliptical circle like a big long one that and i used a pixel circle generator to make that and then i measured how big each circle was at each section of that one and then made those circles and then welded the whole thing together piece by piece section by section and i did that for half of it and then flipped it and it was just absolutely ridiculous it took way too long to do and then I had to put all the thrusters in it and stuff like that just to make the stupid thing fly. I don't even know why I wanted to make a blimp, to be honest. I think I was I wanted to dabble around with autopilot stuff, and I think that's what it was. Now, the blimp autopilot, I'm going to keep the same. So the blimp autopilot, really, it just does lazy circles. 
So when you hit the autopilot button, it just sits there in the sky and does like circles until, you know, you come back to it. And the idea behind it is that you could, you know, get in your plane and, and leave and then come back. But, uh, so we'll have it do that same thing. I do want to make a more advanced autopilot using the Intelligentia mod. Because there's some cool stuff you can do with that. I was playing around with it a little bit more. And there's some really cool things that we could do to make planes that fly um, automatically and track players and stuff. I don't even I don't even know if I'm up there anymore. What if you make a suspension held gyro, like a normal gyro but suspension so it would hold the craft in place, but you manually tilt the craft and it would hold in place more for a plane? You mean like a suspension glitch gyro? Or do you mean like suspension on the bottom of the gyro pieces? Like the gyro itself gets pretty much held in place. Uh, the only issue you run into with the gyro is when you bump into something with the craft. But if your craft is floating in midair, the gyro should never get interrupted. That's why it's great for hovercraft and stuff. For a land vehicle, it would suck. Oh my god, this is... Okay, how many... Okay, if we had five, it would it would work, but then it gets super laggy. Is it is it a problem with... Uh, well, you know what? We'll just... We'll do a few more layers with two. I'm hoping this isn't just too many blocks. That might be a whole other problem, but we'll see. And then we'll we'll go after this section here. We'll go fill up the front with the equal amount, and uh, and then we'll go from there and see how much we're moving or if we're even off the ground. And then uh, maybe we'll look at adding a few more blocks. But I feel like I just need to add more helium. I feel like adding more scripted blocks is just bad news. Basically, just capping off the ends of this blimp. All right, there we go. We'll get this one. Should probably make a blimp that's destructible at some point in time, like one that you can actually shoot down, has guns on it and stuff, but I don't think I would use this build for that. I would make that completely from scratch. And I'd make it smaller, because this one's really, really big. It's kind of awkward to move around the map. Like, it's really just meant to move around the map on its own, but if we had a smaller one, then you could actually have, like, battles between them. But this one's just so big, like, if you had two of them on a map... First of all, two of them would destroy a map. Like, it would be too laggy, I would think, but then... It just wouldn't be it wouldn't be fun because you'd have no maneuverability, right? I'd I'd like smaller ones if I'm gonna make them fight. Make smaller ones out of cardboard with helium blocks. It'd be cool. Alright, we're just gonna we're gonna keep uh yeah, it's definitely back heavy. So hydrogen was too flammable. Yeah, hydrogen was a bad bad idea. That's why the Hindenburg exploded. And actually the Hindenburg exploded because um there was static electricity. So like blimps as they're floating through midair are going to build up static electricity to an extent and the hindenburg was was doing exactly that it built up a ton of static electricity and then when it when they put the ropes down um it grounded the aircraft and then it created a spark and blew up the whole thing it was crazy but yeah it was made of hydrogen it was hydrogen blimps so now they use helium because helium doesn't burn um yeah it, does, it doesn't burn with, like, a spark or something. Where hydrogen before was, you know... Hydrogen's technically more buoyant than helium, though. Like, it, uh, it'll float in helium, I believe. But, true story. Hindenburg was, like, kaboomy boom And it was uh, just a hydrogen blimp. The whole thing caught on fire. Alright, can we... Notice May. What's up, Sam XD? Welcome to the stream. It's awesome. I'm sad that I lost my creation on a world that crashed and doesn't work anymore. Yeah, that that does suck. Um, that's why I always try and save my creations multiple times while I'm building them. And as I say that, I realize I haven't saved this in a while. But, like, I mean, I have, obviously, the copy of the original. But, yeah, it's it's unfortunate. you got to make sure, too. I also try and have, like, lots of worlds with individual creations on them, right? But, uh, I mean, sometimes it happens. But I don't I don't like having, like, a million creations all in the same world. Because if you crash with one, then you lose them all, right? But 
All right, this is uh, this is good. This is good. This is this is great. This is effective. Effective use of a Saturday here. We're just gonna we're just gonna build ourselves a blimp, and then we're gonna fly our blimp around, and it's gonna be magical. All right, so. We'll just, you know, we'll bring this this layer out to like here, and then we'll go to the back and put more in the back. It needs to. It's not enough. Yeah, I do apologize. I know most people are like, oh well, hopefully he'll build something exciting today, and then here I am like, hey, let's fill in a blimp with helium. That sounds fun. And on top of that, it's not even like we're putting in squares of the stuff because it always is in weird shapes. So we have to literally go through it constantly and just fill it in section by section just loads of fun i do apologize for any first time streamers or first time stream watchers whatever you know first time people i i apologize it's uh it's a lot of fun to uh sit here trust me i'm, I'm having a riot too just uh just stacking these it'll get much more exciting once we've got the stupid thing neutrally buoyant i promise but until it's neutrally buoyant we literally have nothing to do but fill in more and more helium blocks so it's great. Who is Puffy from Discord? I don't know. Puffy from Discord. That's a good question. Yeah, every block will be destructible by explosives. The devs, when they add explosives, they're going to make it so that every block has different tolerances. Eventually, they're building that into the game. There's going to be a damage system. Uh, certain blocks are going to be more resistant than others. For example, like metal will actually have an effect. So putting heavier blocks on your vehicles will actually be useful not just for you know weighing down certain sections you'll actually want it for you know armor and stuff so that's gonna be a thing which is kind of cool we'll see how that goes though but yeah that's the plan so survival mode would have all sorts every block would be destructible uh they'd have different toughnesses to make them different, you know, have different explosive powers, and then explosives would have different strengths, and there, there'd be more weapons than just the spud guns. That's the the long story of how the devs have painted the picture. We don't, none of us, of course, know if any of this is going to be true, but this is what the devs are, are saying is, is their goal for the game. Oh, that's the wrong block. Just have a giant chunk of concrete. Do, 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 do. All right, we'll fill this one more layer after this one, and then we'll go back to the back. So exciting to place blocks over and over again. There we go. All right. Question is, uh, does it still drop? It probably still drops like a rock. Let's just put it on the lift. Oh boy, that is. That is very rock-tastic, isn't it? That is aggressively... Aggressively rock-droppy. What if we put four of these? Then it becomes... Really, really... Is it frame? Frame-tastic? It kind of feels a little framey. Yeah, definitely a little bit framey. It keeps it almost neutrally buoyant there, though. All right, we'll put more on. Oh boy, another two dollars super chat. MM for a blimp biplane battle with spud guns. I mean, yeah, that would be cool. I definitely want to have multiple blimps. Uh, what are you doing after that? You should play with the Intelligentia mod. I played with the Intelligentia mod for yesterday's video. I want to do more with it for sure. Um, not today though. The blimp is not going to use that mod. It's just going to use Helium mod, and it's just going to take forever to fly because it's really big and bulky and gross. <laughs> on today's episode of scrap mechanic we are going to be figuring out how to place blocks on another block all right so here we go 
first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the block in your inventory. You got the block in your inventory? Perfect. Now you're going to click and hold and drag. Now you can't drag more than 16 by 16 though. Why would that be a king? I don't know, but apparently it is. Wouldn't it be nice if we could drag bigger areas than 16 by 16? I agree, but that's never going to happen. All right, so here we go. We're just going to keep placing these blocks, placing these blocks. You know what else would be nice? To be able to overlap blocks like you can do on terrain and just have the blocks not place if there's already a block in that way. But you know what? We can't do that. So instead, we're stuck making these weird rectangular shapes until we fill in the whole circle. Yay! Scrap mechanic. This is so much fun. I swear to God, my eye's gonna start twitching soon. I'm just, I'm just, it's gonna, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. This is, tries to inform Khan he's working on Intelligentia 2.0 mod. I know you are. I saw your, you message, I, I, didn't I reply to that? I thought I did. I saw your, yes, I saw you were working on it. I'm very excited to see what the 2.0 mod has. Maybe I'll wait until you finish the 2.0 mod to see what I'm doing. Oh my God, this would have been so much faster, wouldn't it? This is, this is actually faster. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Oh my god, this is the way to do this. Okay. Well, now I just feel stupid. This is actually, like, brilliantly easy. And yeah, Blue, I, I'll probably wait until you come out with the new mod, because, like... I don't know. I want to see what your news... I, I don't necessarily want to build a creation if you're going to replace all the parts and, and have better versions of it that I could use to make better stuff. But I did have a lot of fun playing around with it with the homing missiles. That was, that was literally the most fun I've had in Scrap Mechanic in a long time. Just trying to dodge all the homing rockets as they were flying around was absolutely hilarious. It was really cool, too, how they, like... They actually work. I mean, you can see where there's limitations, obviously, but it was a lot of fun to try and do. All right, here we go. Is this... There we go. That was so much easier. Another 199 super chat for the Animal King. The circular, the circle making simulator for the cargo plane. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, this is this is like worse than the cargo plane because at least the cargo plane was one circle the whole way down. This is like different sizes of circle. Can we? Can we? We're gonna literally run out of space here. The gyro is actually going to get in the way. That's hilarious. I did not think the gyro was going to become... Alright, so we'll just... You know what? We'll fill in these and then that's pretty much all we can put in the back, I guess. And then we'll put... I guess we'll try three helium things and see if maybe three is enough to lift the whole thing with just this... I'm out of helium. Otherwise, we're going to have to, like, line the whole inside of it. All right, we're going to... This is definitely a lot less space than the other blimp. I thought we were going to have more space with all the helium, but I guess, like, it makes sense. You're filling the blimp with helium, technically. You wouldn't be able to go into the spots in the blimp where they have all the helium. I think blimps nowadays do it with, like, multiple bags. Like, I don't think it's one big bag full of helium. I'm not really sure, though. I haven't, to be honest, I haven't really been in a modern blimp or looked at a modern blimp. Um, but I would assume they would have it with, you know, multiple bags so that if one gets punctured or whatever, they're not totally screwed. Or maybe that's just, uh, I don't know. Do we have any blimp experts in the chat? All right, here we go. We're almost, okay, this is, you know what? I feel like this is actually, like, good. Why can't I donate with Streamlabs? Because I don't have Streamlabs donations enabled. And I probably should, but I don't. Because I'm a ridiculous person, apparently. Um, so, yeah, you can't really donate with Streamlabs. Which is, which is my own fault. I should probably set that up, shouldn't I? But did it? It looked like it wanted to float, didn't it? I mean, it kind of does. You know, let's try it. Like, what happens with a third? Okay, so, like, three is just significantly more laggy. 
And we don't really get any extra floating capability. All right, well, we'll go put more in the front. Oh my God, this is okay. This is actually going to be ridiculous. I can't even, like, I wonder how many helium blocks we're actually going to have when this is all said and done. And I mean, you guys are probably saying, well, you should remove this metal and stuff, but this metal is here to balance out the weight of the blimp with like the fins on the back and the metal on the front. So if we were to remove that, I'd be worried about, you know, making sure it can actually fly straight. So we're just going to leave that on there. Just in case. $5 super chat, or 5 euro super chat. Boy, are you an unturned server? Wait, bring back unturned? Oh my god. We played Unturned, like, once years ago when we were all, like, small channels. I remember that, though. That was funny. And then we literally, like, joined a server and just trolled a bunch of people. It was amazing. I haven't played that game in, like, forever, though. Is that game, is that game still a thing? Are there still servers out for that? I mean, Unturned is kind of like Minecraft, but, like, if you guys haven't played it, it's basically Minecraft meets Roblox meets shooting zombies and people. I, it's weird. There's just a lot of people building really ridiculous bases in Unturned. And then you just run in and, like, kill all them and take all their stuff. And then that's pretty much how you play Unturned. Um, like, I'd like to say we're front-heavy, but honestly, we just haven't... You know what? Let's just, let's just do something here real quick. Let's just solve this problem once and for all. Okay, hold on. So that is touching the ground there. All right, here we go. There. Okay, so now it's now we'll know for sure when we get to the point of having enough helium to lift off. Now we'll know because it should actually not just be falling because of because of gravity. So we'll just keep adding more and more stuff, and we're gonna like literally. I'm just gonna build this right up to the gyro. Like that's what's gonna happen. Is that not that far? How far can we go to there? And then we'll have to line the sides because, like, literally running out of space. This, I think, this helium block. Um, well, I don't, I don't know. It's hard to say. Like, because if it was more, the the alternative to making it more effective is say add more helium activators. But it seems like more helium activators just gives you more lag. So like, maybe the block. I don't know if the block should be more effective or you know. I don't know. I don't know what. What do you, what do you guys think? You're gonna betray me and watch who now? Grian? I don't... Okay. Bye. I'm sorry I couldn't be as entertaining as... I don't know who Grian is, but... I wish you... I wish Grian all the best. I think the idea for Unturned was good. The execution of it was terrible. I mean, Unturned was made by, like, what? Like, some kid? 17 or 18-year-old kid or something? It wasn't even, like, a full development team or anything like that, and it just blew up really well. I thought that was it was that game. Make ducks. Grian is a Minecraft channel. Oh, okay, cool. I haven't played Minecraft in years. Pretty sure most of the people playing Minecraft now, they're just playing all the like custom game modes, right? Like does anybody still play vanilla Minecraft? Is that a thing? Is there still like, yo, let's get all funky in vanilla mode? Or does everyone still just... It's all just like mighted... Like like Hunger Games Minecraft. Right? Make a duck former? Like a, like a transformer but with a duck? I mean, I'm not really good at transformers. I tried making one... Actually, I didn't really try making a transformer. I, I'm just... I'm, I'm not really good with transformers. Alright. This should like... All right. Oh, 
Oh, I thought I thought the back end was lifting off there. I got excited for like a fraction of a second. I was like, oh, do we have liftoff? No, we don't. That's so great. Right, so we're pretty much out of room that way. That's, that's... Like, I don't even know. Do we need the gyro? Like, do are we really going to need it? Like, I don't know. That's the thing. I kind of want to leave it in case we do need it, but... I honestly don't know if we're going to need it. I mean... Sorry, I had to stretch there, guys. It was just, you know... Oh, 999 Super Chat. How did I miss that? Emma Rose... Oh, there, that's because the alert finally just came through now. Streamlabs is a little bit slow. Thank you, though, much, so much for the super chat, though. 989, Emma Rose, for the shout out. And yes, you can get a shout out. You are good with Transformers. You transform that empty blimp into a full blimp. Yeah, I know, right? It's so good. You play vanilla Minecraft still, Kitten Master? That's awesome. What if your YouTube channel. I, I just didn't see it. Use a smaller model gyro. Yeah, I know. I could do that. I don't really need it, though. Like, I don't even think we're going to need it, to be honest. I think it's a waste of time to have a gyro in this. Because I'm pretty sure with the Helium mod, we're just going to keep the blimp always level and just have it move up and down by adjusting, like, the weight. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think we're going to. I don't think we're going to really need it to be like, oh, we got to tilt the whole thing. Because we could just hit a switch and change the weight and then hit a switch again and change the weight again. And, like, I think that's all we need to do for this. This creation does not like how many blocks it has, though. It's at, it's at that point when you start dragging the blocks, there's, like, that split-second delay when you let go of the block because it's got to calculate it. I mean, once it's once you're not placing stuff, it's fine. It's just building on it. It's not having a good time with it, but that's okay. All right, then that one. This pattern is starting to like, like make my eyes get tired. They're like, oh my God, you keep looking at the same like carbon fiber-ish nylon type pattern. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four. We're not anywhere close to being off the ground. I should have I should have done all this a long long time ago before stream try making a two by a three by three by three gyro um I don't know if I think blue would be able to tell you if that's possible or not blue flame I think he's the one use the local helium activator at the back but the local the local helium activator doesn't do what you think it does the local helium activator um is just so like if you have creations that are attached with bearings for example so like here's the helium activator it's like at least one of these is placed in your creation or a non-local activator in order for the helium blocks to work um this block only applies the force to the main creation and not parts that are connected by bearings whereas this will do it to everything so having it at, like the in this case because everything's attached they'd all be the exact same yeah so if we put three it goes like crazy Actually, you know what? It's getting it's getting floaty. You can see that it's it wants to float, so it's getting there. So that's actually good. Um, we'll leave that there. Let's just fill in the sides. That's what we're gonna do. We'll go we'll go along the sides and fill them in, and then see where we're at. Do 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 do, do like that. Okay, so that was two layers. Fill this one in. What am I getting? Oh, there's a stupid, stupid railing. Jeez. Can I, can I, there we go. Okay, perfect, perfect. No, can we, perfect. 
Okay, we'll do three. Three. This is so exciting, guys. I'm so I'm so happy. I can share the excitement of this build with you all. It's really it's really riveting. Don't worry, we'll get into stupid stairs. Who put the stairs there? We'll get into some more exciting stuff. I promise. Um, once you know this thing floats, once it floats, then it'll be easy mode. The rest of it's just like this is just really the most brutal, time-consuming process. Um, just to get this stupid thing to float, but it's definitely looking pretty decent. All right, we'll go all the way up here again. This uh, that needs to be connected. There we go, and then this one. Oops. There we go. Bow, bow, bow. You subbed ants. Wait, what ants? Why is everyone? Why is what? 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 What are we doing now? Is everyone? Is everyone going off about ants? Ants? No. Is that like we guys? There's no ants. I don't know what you're all. Why does why is why is live stream chat so much different than the comment section? I don't understand. I, I like I'm, I'm someone has to write a psychological paper on how live stream chat works. I'd be very because even like YouTube chat and Twitch chat are very different as well. I'd be very curious to see why that is. All right, this is like That's good. Yeah. Thank goodness we're not going to have to paint all this. Like, I'm not painting any of this nylon. It's just going to stay this white color, which is really, really great. Um, again, we're definitely losing a lot of space in this blimp due to these stupid blocks, but... Whatever. It is what it is. Alright, and then this one goes like that. It's got to be pretty close to, like, like floaty now. And, yeah, it seems like with two activators, we don't get any of the lag that we were having before. I know it's laggy when I'm placing blocks, but it doesn't seem to be... Um, it doesn't seem to be laggy at all in terms of just constant script lag. I feel like with three, I, I don't know if it's running multiple scripts or something, or if it's... Like, I don't know what it is, but something's causing it to lag more, so... Stick with two, even though it takes longer. People can post anything and it doesn't seem to stay recorded as well as YouTube comment sections. Um, you know that like on a live stream stream, like if you watch it after the fact, comments on YouTube now are recorded on the live stream stream. So are, so are, uh, so they're also recorded on Twitch streams too. I think you can disable that. Like I can go in and remove the comments afterwards on the live stream replay. But yeah, you can go watch a previous stream for like the last couple months now and all the comments are there. All the super chats and stuff too. Like it's it's as if you're watching the stream again, really. Um, except you obviously you can't live comment. You can only post. Um, it it was hold on. It was floating there. You can only post the other comments. But yeah, it's totally a thing now. Whoa 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 whoa. I got in it and it started floating. Uh. Okay. Weird. We'll just finish off these two inside walls. It looks like it wants to float now. We do need it to be slightly floating up, and then we can add weight to bring it back down. Ah, got something in my eye just there. Holy cow. Like a... Okay. And do that. Can we, can we reach that? Can we reach that, please? Yeah, I have a cat. You should try a blimp battle where you and the crew are protecting a blimp. Yeah, I know, for sure. That's I want to do that. Like like I said, I do want to do some sort of a blimp battle with weapons and blimps and stuff that have weapons. But I'm not going to do that with this blimp because this one is... This one's way too big. Um, I need a smaller blimp for that. That's not as big. This one is aggressively large. And uh, that's kind of a problem. Okay, it's fine now. It was weird. 
Okay, so is that... I need to do one more on this other side, so otherwise it's gonna... Yeah, and then it'll... It should be extra floaty at this point. I think that's... Even, isn't it? I think that... Is that right? Yeah, that looks, that looks good. Gotta finish this. Watch the hole in the floor. All right, this should be, and then and then we can actually make the controls and stuff. And actually, this shouldn't be too bad. Bad. Um, I want to see if we need the gyro though. And there's, I'm gonna test something before we do. Once we get this thing floating. Now I hope, like, we need to be constantly floating up. That's the thing. And the question is, are we? Oh, yes, we are. Perfect. We are actually constantly going up. Okay, we need to be constantly going up faster because of the weight of the um, of the stupid plane. And so to account for the weight of the plane, we're going to do this for now. We're going to just take this and, um, yeah, we'll just, you know, we'll put a bunch of metal blocks on it because that'll be the, the equivalent. I don't, I don't really know how heavy the plane is, but we'll just assume that it's this heavy. We can always adjust it later. Let's do, let's do six, I think. Six is probably, like, I feel like if the plane is heavier than that when we're done, then the plane's got a problem. I mean, that should be, you know, let's do, you know, let's do, let's do another, another, let's do another two. I really, I honestly don't know. All right, that'll be our plane, so to speak. Okay, I don't think we're... I don't think we're falling. I think we're also tilting a little bit to the back. All right, so hold on. So we gotta, um, we gotta get out of here. We gotta put this down. We gotta see how neutrally buoyant this is. And I think it wants to tilt a little bit to the back. Oh no, it still wants to go up a little bit. Cool. That is heavy. The plate has been in a 30 wood blocks, not 500 metal. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. We can adjust for it later. I want to have excess weight. So, like, I'd rather be stronger than I have to be than just not strong enough. You know what I'm saying? So, that'll be... That's pretty good. We need more weight in the front. And it's definitely going up a little bit. So, we need to work on making it a little bit more neutrally buoyant. And then we have to put a bunch of stuff here. So we gotta make it neutrally buoyant first. Don't worry, because if the if the plane's not this heavy, it's fine. Once we've got the blimp calibrated, if the plane turns out to be lighter than this, I'll just add metal blocks around this area to offset the fact that we calibrated the blimp for for that. You know what I mean? Um, that's how we're gonna do it. But the front needs to be heavier, so we're just gonna put this here, right, to balance the front out. Um, probably a bit more actually that wasn't the button i wanted i wanted this button there we go it doesn't it doesn't like being painted that's a thing all right and uh let's see okay so now it just ever so slightly sinks or does it no it no it just it just thought it wanted to sink is it because i opened the door it doesn't like the gyro for sure. Definitely, you know what? We're gonna get rid of the gyro. We don't. I don't. We're not gonna use it for this. We're not gonna need it. The helium blocks will keep us stable. I think. I honestly don't know. We'll put weight on the bottom. Well, there is weight on the bottom, and the helium is at the top, so it should automatically want it to, like, pull it back straight, right? That's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna remove this. If we need it later. Then you know what? We'll figure that out. Oh, crud. There we go. Can we, can we, can, 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 oh my god, I'm trapped. Okay. Delete that. Oh, I got rid of, oh my god. I was like, why is it not, what is because I got rid of the helium blocks there's there's no helium act i was like why is this sinking so fast 
All right, we'll put these back up here at the front. There we go. Okay, that was, whew. I was like, what did I do? It took off the gyro and it broke the whole thing. And then we'll put this back here. There we go. And we'll put this. You're killing the blip. No, it's fine. Left click and go to, wait, stats for nerves? Oh, yeah, there's, there's, yeah, no, sorry. It's hard. It's, what will you do with going forward? Thrusters, propeller? No, I'm thinking thrusters, like hidden inside the blimp. Um, okay, so it, it naturally wants to float up. trying to think if that's a good thing or not do i want it constantly floating up like i mean we don't want it we want it to be neutrally buoyant but i'm trying to think if we need to add metal to get rid of it or if we need to do this to get rid of it or i mean remove some helium blocks i guess like i feel like i want to weight control it to keep it lower i think that's what we're gonna do Like, I think... I think... Um, sorry, guys. I, I mean, I know I'm, I'm drifting here. I'm, I, this is what I, I'm just really bad at, at expressing. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to put a bunch here. Now, these blocks, when we activate them, they're going to weigh down the whole creation. That's how they're going to work. So, we're going to put a bunch here in the front. I don't know how many this is. Or in the back, sorry. One, two, three, four... That's 7, 14, and we're going to put 14 up on the front, and we're going to see what happens when we activate these compared to the weight of the thing. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I don't know if this is even going to be enough. The buggy used 5 to weigh it down. Um, and then, yeah, we'll just do, like, front and back. Um... Yeah, I'll just put it there. Something like that. Right? Pretty simple stuff. And then we'll hook these all up. And then uh, we'll put a switch. I'm hoping this is going to do what I'm thinking it's going to do. And I'm hoping what it's going to do is if we activate the one side, it'll tip us down in the back, let's say. And if we activate the other side, it'll tip us down in the front. That's what I'm hoping. No idea if it's going to work or not. But we'll see. And then if all of them lower it, that would be absolutely amazing. But we'll see what happens here. Okay. Um, so we'll just activate like one of them, two goes to the front, whatever. We'll get rid of these after anyways. Like, I think this is going to, I think this is going to work. Read what I'm saying. Yes, the Animal King. What's up? Just add a whole lot of them, hook them up in pairs that you can get turned on manually. That's true. We could measure how much we actually need. Um, all right. So it's definitely going up. We'll let it go up a little bit. Use the drag blocks. I don't know about the drag blocks. Look more in chat, please. Yes, sir. Make a transforming play, which uses the big bod. Yes, I agree. I think it will work. Thank you for your vote of confidence, Quentin. Look in chat more. LOL. Yes. Con, remember me? My old name was Merrick Laird, and I changed it so I could take over the world easier. The Stuff and Stuff Show. That's an interesting name. Put the drag blocks. It will reduce the bouncing. Yeah, but it doesn't really bounce much. I mean, I, I can, I'll can i put some drag blocks on it for sure. Save my creation. Yes, I agree. I mean, it's still not bouncing that much, but yes, I will put some drag blocks on it. If you guys... Here, hold on. Let's get some drag blocks. Where does drag blocks... I need the metal block too. All right, drag block. I feel like it's tilting. No, it's not? Okay, good. Here we go. Ready? Um, we're going to go one here, one here, 
and one here and one here there we go that's 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 all we're gonna do for drag blocks because they do in fact cause drag you're still going up so what if I activate two now which one which one was which one was two oh, it's that front one well it makes it go down and if I activate both then it really goes down okay so that's a thing can you have a shadow what's up Chris ham one of the stream why don't you use a converter change the wood to helium that would look more blimp like yeah you're probably right um, but I mean we've already got this whole thing filled with helium now so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go back and and rechange that but yeah it would have looked it would have probably looked more blimp like okay so that like It needs more up force is, is what it needs. It needs to be like wanting to go up faster. And then we need to put way more weight in the front and the back to do exactly. It, it's the right idea, I think. It's just, it just needs more of everything. So we're going to, we're going to just make a super weight module here. Uh, and we'll just, um, Probably could have probably could have done that a little bit better. Hold on. Uh, I wanted to do this way. There we go. Right? Is that? Yeah, that should be good. And then we'll do the same thing over here. And then we'll do another layer in front. Probably should have built this on a lift because then we could have just saved it and done it, copied it, but whatever. Um, that would have probably been easier. Alright, so that'll be like our super weight function and then we'll just connect all these oh my god oh my god did i just miss that like 14 times holy cow what is going on why am i missing this connection this isn't that difficult there we go be like already make wait what i'm converting it yeah i made a thruster version the thruster version was was um a long long time ago before any of these scripted mods existed and it was okay, it worked, but like I want to make a helium version. So that's why I figured we're going to make a helium version. Don't worry, it's fine. We'll make it work, guys. We'll make it work. We're just going to... We're just... Uh, yeah. Hold on. Hold on, I'm just texting my girlfriend. Uh, can... Cool. Alright, so that should be 28 in the front, and then we're in the back, and then we'll do the same up here. And then we're going to put a little bit more helium to make it float a little bit faster up. So the idea is that we want to it to always want to go up and then we're going to hold it down and then that way when we want it to go up we just let go of the down and it'll just it'll go but these these bunch are for something different should work i hope i think this is gonna work can i have a shout out what's up ank ank moss gaming Ankmos game, what's up? How's it going? Welcome to the stream. Did I have a good day? I did have a good day. I mean, I woke up, I played some scrap mechanic, and then I started streaming. How was your day? My day was is, well. I guess it's been pretty uneventful. I mean, I've just been I've just been streaming really. Oh, I went to a, a store and picked up some food. I'm also gonna eat after this stream. This, you know, this is standard day stuff, Saturday stuff. I'm not doing anything exciting. I think I should jump. Wait, what? What do you mean? Well, like, like, get up on my camera and jump? That's kind of weird. All right, so that's... This should be fine. 
And then we need a lot more helium. And Well, not a lot more, but a little bit more. And then we should be good to actually do the controls portion of things. Okay, so that's two, three, yeah, and then a bunch more helium in the front. Um, I don't know where I want to where I want to add. You know, let's just do two more layers. Do another layer up to here, right? And we'll do this one, same deal. Whoops. Please check my 4-in-1 engine car. Use a piston engine, magnet engine, thruster engine, and a classic car engine. That's awesome. Okay, so the one question I have, though, about a 4-in-1 engine car is, doesn't the piston engine just win all the time? Or, do you, or does your piston engine, like, disconnect with gears or something? Like, I'm confused about that. Because in my experience, a piston engine is way more powerful than any of the other types of engines. And, uh, like, in terms of just brute strength and, like, the ability to torque, it doesn't spin as fast as the other engines, but, like, a piston engine just has stupid amounts of power to it. And I'd really love to know how you have it, or does it, it must just be gears, right? Like, that would be the way that I would think to do it. You just disconnect it so it's not, like, I don't know. That's, that's my thought. I'm curious, though. All right, I think this is good to go. Oh, I guess I should have... Okay, we gotta fill this, I guess. And then hopefully that's enough weight to bring us down. We're definitely gonna fly up. It's The question is, is can we bring it down? I think we will be able to. It's like, what? 14, 28 on the front, 28 on the back? Yeah, I mean, this should be, this should be good. Alright, so let's, uh, let's just stand in here. Put that on a lift. It moves really quick up, which is good. And then two is is which one is that? That's all the front ones. That didn't even that didn't even make a budge. What about three? And they're all on now, and it's not even like it's like nope. We added we added too much helium. All right, well that's fine. Remove some of the helium. Oh, you gotta be Oh, what? What? Okay. Okay, 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 okay. This is, a, this is a lot more stressful, guys, than I thought it was going to be today. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make the helium blimp, because it's gonna be, like, not a stressful build at all. It's gonna be simple. It's gonna be easy. All we gotta do is just put some helium down and make a blimp. And uh, apparently it's literally like the most stressful build I've ever had to do. All right. Delete all that. Delete all this. Delete that. Delete that. I mean, it's really simple. We just need to go up, down, left and right and not tilt and i don't i don't think it's going to tilt i think the helium is going to prevent it from tilting because there's heavy weight on the bottom and it wants to float from the top that's my guess i'm assuming that prevents the tilt um okay so there we go so now it's going up again if i just hit two which is those front ones and that pretty much neutralizes it and then three brings us down Yeah, and it doesn't seem to matter. So if that's that's neither of them on, and we're going to go up. And then if we press them both, we go down. So that's actually, that's actually really good. That's pretty much exactly what we want. So how neutrally buoyant is it? Not very. Okay, hold up. So we're gonna, we're just gonna, we're gonna make it neutrally buoyant. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, oh my god, guys, I can't talk today. Hold up. Okay, we're gonna make it neutrally buoyant. 
in like two seconds. I also realized I screwed up because we need them wired half to the front, half to the back. Not so we're gonna have to rewire these because we don't. I don't want them all. I want half them. We got two layers, right? Going up is gonna be naturally how it, it wants to go. It's naturally gonna want to go up. Going down will be all of them activated, and um, not going anywhere will be half of them activated. That's gonna be the way this works. Is the idea. So neutrally buoyant is going to be half them activated. And then uh, going down will be all of them activated and going up will be none of them activated. And it's not going to go up or down really quickly, but I mean like it's a blimp. It's not, it's not supposed to be like, you know, a super speedy ship or anything like that. So we're just going to make it go uh, nice and slow here. So it should be pretty easy to do. Hold on, I'm gonna rechat in like two seconds, guys. I just wanna I wanna hook all these up and then we'll take a look at what you guys have all been complaining about. Probably my lack of chat reading, to be perfectly honest. No, it's not. Wait, what? Please give me a shout out, please. Dreadwing the King, what's up? Save your creation before it flows away. Don't worry, if, if it flows away, it's not going very far. We don't have an unlimited map. There we go, perfect. I will save this though, because we've done a bunch to it. When you want to go fishing, but it's raining, and I can't recognize Cod, what's up? Potato Penguin? Do you still play Rocket League? Yes. I, 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 yes. I have, I play too much Rocket League. It's a problem. There's a problem with the amount of Rocket League I play. You can definitely see how it takes a lot less parts to do this with mods than if you do it with thrusters. Like, this is a lot less connections. It's a lot simpler. It's just, you know, spend some time balancing out the weight and call it a day, right? Like, it's really, really easy to do compared to uh, doing it with thrusters. Which, I mean, you just have to balance out the weight with thrusters, too. But it's a little bit more difficult when everything has to move. Um, and with this, too, it's naturally going to want to float. Whereas with thrusters, you know, you're forcing it to, to float. Okay, so that should be good. So... Um, like we'll need a, you know, I'll put controls up at the front. So one of them is going to be on all the time and the other one's going to be activated and these need to be on buttons instead of switches. W is going to go forward. We'll have actually reverse thrusters too. We'll WS to go forward and back. So this thing can go backwards. The previous one couldn't go backwards, but we'll make this one go backwards. Cause why not? Right. Um, and then need a gas motor up here as well. So, the gas motor should be actually by the propellers, so it sounds kind of more realistic. What do we put the gas motor in these? Yeah, it looks way better. Do it like that. There we go. Cool, cool. Do another one over here. Uh, was it, wait, hold on, was it front? Yeah, it was the front ones, right? Okay, so we'll do that. Another one here. Connect, connect. Wait, what? No, I was just about to say, how is it? Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't front, it was back. How did, I was just about to say, how did I get that in without... Okay, I just totally screwed this up. It's fine. There we go. Like this. Okay. What? Wait, no, you're not. No, you got to connect to the gas motor. Connect to the gas motor. There we go. Okay, cool. What is your level at Rocket League? I'm pro. Uh, my Rocket League doubles as like champion. So, yeah. That's pretty much it. Um, not like high champion, like champion one, like really low stuff. But that's, that's like, I play too much Rocket League, like I said. Um, so we'll do that. There we go. Did 
and then visually we can move forward. You know what? I don't I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that to be honest. Do I What do you guys say? Yay or nay in the chat? I'm gonna let you guys decide. Yay or nay on the motors out there. I made an executive decision and I'm not sure how I feel about it. Do you guys think that they should be inside the blimp or do you think they look like I just wanted to do it for sound, because like now the sound will actually come from out here. But do you think do you think wow I am at silver? Yay, 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 everyone's on yay. Yeah, okay. That's what I figure. I think I think it looks cooler. And then that way too, when we go like, you know, forward and oh sorry, we're on the lift. But when we go forward and reverse, it should activate those. And then we'll need a WS converter, which we'll put up here. Um and stuff. And then we need an up down switch. So here we go. So hold on. So gonna need a couple of these. Two buttons, one for up, one for down. Up, down, and then autopilot left, autopilot right. Up is that one, down is that one. And that and that, yeah, and then that should be good to go. So it's really simple, actually, how we're going to do this. So up is on a NOR gate, and down is not. So up is on a NOR gate, so they're always on, and then when you hit them, it turns them off. And then down is on an OR gate, so when you hit them, it turns them on. Um, that one is outside here right so it's outside here let's go that one and then this one same thing so if i've done this right we should be neutrally buoyant and then have two buttons to go up and down with um we got to adjust the buoyancy though the buoyancy is going to be wrong so we'll just let's get rid of this because we're gonna have to we're gonna have to tweak the the buoyancy i think right now it floats up a little bit Guess we need a few more drag blocks, don't we? So let's add a few more. Let's get rid of that initial bounciness. And I think if we look, we're still floating up, right? Yeah, okay. So we'll remove a little bit of helium. Um, remove one row from each. I mean, the other option is you add weight, right? It's, it's one or the other. So hold on. We'll get, the, we'll get this back here. Okay. Is that good? Is that good? That's pretty close. I have an idea for a live stream. Sure. What's a live stream? Give a shout out to Alex or Isaac. Sorry. Ugh, I can't even. Isaac Spencer. What's up? Shout out to Isaac Spencer. How's it going? From industry, industry gaming. Use the wings mod. Wait, the white blocks inside are helium? Yes. And the black, so the white blocks, these blocks here, these nylon ones, those are helium. And these black tanks are air compressor tanks. So when you turn them on, they increase in weight. Which, I mean, kind of makes sense. So they, in theory, fill up with compressed air and increase in weight. Whereas when you turn them off, they don't. So, yeah, that's how that works. Um... I, like I think we're like right there. Okay, let's let's let me put this down like really close to ground level here. It does this weird bobbing thing because of the mod. Yeah, see, it doesn't initial. It initially drops for some reason because of the helium mod, whereas mine never did that with the thrusters. But what happens when it stops? So it drops a little bit to start. Yeah, which is fine. God, it's like right. It's right. You know, we might even like, this might even get fixed with drag blocks. I really don't. Like, what is it? How how close is that? Like, no it needs. You know, it was just put a little bit of weight. A little bit of weight. A little bit of weight never hurt anybody. I don't know how to. Where's the? You know, what? let's just put it here. There, and then we'll put another one in the front. You know, we'll put put two lines, one line, one line. I mean, I like we're like right here. You can tell it like it wants to go up, but it, it just can't because it's like it's literally right at that line. 
where it just doesn't know what to do. A little bit more on the front. Get, yeah, see, it's just getting ever so slightly. But we need to make sure like it stays as level as possible. That's how you're going to make the autopilot work. Otherwise, it's just going to... It's going to float up constantly or down constantly. I mean, I'd ideally rather it float up constantly slightly. Now it's down a little bit. Okay, so we'll remove one block, one, one of those rows, and then I think we'll call it done. And un oh, of course, we're going to have to adjust it with thrusters. Totally forgot about the thrusters. What's up? Upgrade your cargo plane. Yes, I do want to redo a bunch of builds with mods. So the cargo plane, I definitely want to redo it because it, it has an autopilot and it flies, but I want to do it properly. So I'm going to wait until Blue Flame's got like an Intelligentia mod version 2.0, do it with a proper autopilot that can properly hopefully land the plane, do it with the wings mod, um, you know, build proper gyros, use the gyros from the Intelligentia mod rather than using the gyros that I bake because... You know, a spinning gyro that you make, it's not always 100% accurate. There's a lot of ways to screw it up. You know, you can hit it, whatever. You can do all sorts of things. So I definitely want to remake that build with mods just to, you know, have it a lot better. And definitely want to do some autopilot stuff with mods as well. Um, but for now, I just figured we'll do this. But yes, I do have a bunch of builds that I had done before, like like Jetception, where we had, like, you know, the jet inside the jet. I really want to redo that one with the actual wings mod and have, like, a, a winged jet inside of a winged jet and then have the other jet, like, follow it and stuff. Like, there's so much you could do with some of these scripted mods. So I definitely want to redo a few things. Um, are, we, are we, like... You know, that's that's as even as it's going to get. We're not going to get much more even, like, than that. I mean, that's, like, barely moving. So we definitely need thrusters. Um... Thrusters for forward, thrusters for backwards. We need a, a WASD converter, right? So we'll make one of those. Um, and then, yeah, we'll use the thrusters. Okay. So, um, AD, we'll just put over here. And then for turning, we'll just have some thrusters in the front and the back to kind of spin the whole thing. I know it's not 100% realistic to have thrusters on the blimp, but I don't really want to use the wing mod because it's not going to be powerful enough with the rudder, like with the spinning propellers. They don't, they, they have to spin super, super fast and glitch out and they don't give you enough power to move. Um, so I don't really want to do that. And then with, uh, yeah. Yeah. So I don't, I don't, I, I want to make sure we use it. Um, yeah, and then we'll put the other one here. And I know this isn't the best WASD converter. I know like all you hardcore scrap mechanic guys who, you know, do hardcore scrap mechanic things are all like, oh, God, what are you doing? Why are you using that? terrible old design why don't you use a scripted mod block you know there's scripted mod blocks now that you could use the scripted blocks mean you can do stuff like this without having to do any sort of weird controller stuff and you get rid of the controller delay that happens because bearings on controllers that are looped don't always work the way you would expect and you could eliminate all that with the scripted mod block why don't you use a scripted mod block hmm. yeah i know Trust me, I know. I get all the comments. I understand. But we're just using one mod for this. So it's going to be a mod. It's going to be a helium blimp that you can spawn with just a single mod. Ken, you are so awesome. Thanks, man. I'm con. Yes, what? Oh, yeah, that's right. Sorry, we're streaming. I wasn't supposed to be talking about uh, chat in the third person, right? Dun, 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 but no, you guys have no idea the number of comments I get from people who are like, why don't you do this? And like, I'll mention in the video, I'll be like, hey guys, I'm back with another video. And in this video, I only want to use vanilla creations. And someone's like, well, why didn't you use this mod? There was a mod that would have done everything you wanted to do in like a fraction of a second. And it's like, hey guys, I was just making vanilla creations. And yeah, sure. No, we'll just, we'll just use those mods. That's, that's exactly right. It literally happens all the time. And it's like, okay. Thanks. And I, I don't know why.
All right. Uh, that should be that. That should be that. These should all just be like, I think 30 degrees is what I use normally. Right, something like that. And then... Okay, so this is like a terrible WASD converter, but W, right? And that's why it's terrible, because it has that hiccup sometimes. You see that? And then A and D. Shouldn't really matter, because this thing's going to move really slow, but that's that's the hiccup that you get with these kind of WASD converters. Sometimes you can fix it, though, if you put it on 45. I can't remember. It's either 45 or, like, 15. One of the two fixes it better. That's 45. Yeah, maybe it is 45. And then there's, of course, the startup delay when you hit the button to start it. It goes, say my name, what's up? Yen Shu, Yen Shufi. I hope I said that right. I probably didn't. Well, the stream, you can't hear anything. Wait, really? I'm pretty sure you can, there's volume muted. You probably have muted. Have you made any things that don't work? What you'll be going back to now with the new mods? Um, Nothing that I can think of. Can you stop for a minute to read live chat? Also, can you choose someone's name to write on the side of the blimp with yours, please? Well, I, I haven't even decided if I'm going to write my name on the side of the blimp yet. Axelot is adding scripted stuff so modders can make their game for them. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, that's how most modded, how most games go, though. I hate to break it to you. Like, all the games that people enjoy playing still, well, most of the games, I find, like, ugh, how am I going to say? Okay. If you want to make your game last longer, it helps to promote mods because players like, like for example, look at like Skyrim and the three million mods that it has, or look at like uh, Minecraft and all the mods that it has. Like mods allow players to get the experience of the game they want. If Minecraft was only vanilla and was still only vanilla to this day, can you honestly say, yeah, you know what? I'd go play some Minecraft. Like I feel like their audience would be a lot smaller if it was a straight vanilla game than with all the mods that they have i mean maybe i'm completely wrong i like I, like i said i don't play minecraft but like i feel like that's a thing these are going to be to turn the whole blimp by the way we're going to use you know a couple in the front a couple in the back but if i'm wrong like correct me tell me i'm wrong but like i feel like i feel like their audience would be tiny without uh without all the mods maybe it's just me Mice is off. Wait, what? What do you mean mice is off? Can you pronounce my username because 99% of YouTubers will butcher it? Jugu Gaming? I mean, Jugu Gamer? I just butchered it. I said gaming instead of gamer. Is there a way to build program cartridges that you plug into, say, an 8-bit computer? Sure. Why not? You just have your program cartridges, like, it depends on how you want to do the output. There's a lot of ways to do outputs. You could do outputs with a spud gun that shoots and it picks up on a sensor. You could do outputs with a controller that moves an arm into position. You could do it with a piston that extends out. You could do it with a color wheel, even, and have different colors that output. Like, you could make the interface between the, the bit and the cartridge however you want. It wouldn't be, like, electrical the way you'd think, but it would, you know, you could do it however you want. Um, anyways, we're gonna go, so these ones will go this way. And then over here on this side. All right, and then grab this one. Like, hopefully this is enough to turn the whole thing. These are right now at normal. We could always crank these up to max. Right now they're like a no thrust, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, and then up down should be too. Oh yeah, that's right. We haven't even tested up down yet. Does up down work? Oh, there's no. There's not even a thing there. Oh, we added weight. Ha! That's right. Hold on. Let's put the rest of these thrusts on, and then we got to readjust for neutral buoyancy. So you know what? We're actually gonna probably put these these back like that. Perfect. Minecraft doesn't have mods. What do you mean Minecraft doesn't have mods? 
I mean, there's a million mods in Minecraft. At least, unless I'm, like, no, there's for sure mods in Minecraft. Like, there's all sorts of different, like, and modded servers and stuff, too. Alright, I think... Okay, we need forward thrust, right? Forward. Forward and reverse. So, forward and reverse, I mean, we'll put that... Like, really simply, right up right up in the front and the back, maybe? Do I want to... Like, do we, do we drag it forward? I feel like we do. I feel like we drag it forward and then drag it in reverse. Like, I feel like we do this. And, like, that would be your forward thrust. Because you want to really minimize... On the old one, I think the thrust was in the walls. But that, that might have been just because we didn't have a space for it. And then, like, we drag it in reverse. Apparently, I'm getting a phone call. From my brother, who... I don't know why my brother is calling me. Because he could notice that I'm streaming! Normally, he's watching the streams. So I don't understand. You can speak Spanish, and not, but not without punishment. There's puppy laying down a lot. No, we like English chat just because I can't tell if you're swearing or not. I play on PC... Not to be rude, but you sound like a 10-year-old. Eh, that's okay. Shout out to Furious Destroyer. Furious Destroyer? Dual Rocket League stream? Eh. I used to do Rocket League streams, but, like, the Rocket League community, no offense to anybody who plays a lot of Rocket League, but, like, they're kind of toxic. Like, super toxic. Like, really toxic community. It's kind of annoying how toxic they are, to be perfectly honest. So that's W... That's left. Of course, I got that reverse. That's okay. That's easy enough to fix. Okay, so we can reverse that. Uh, that's S. So this is forward. And then we'll we'll fly and see. How well this thing actually moves i honestly have no idea i mean i know it's heavy so i feel like we're gonna need to add a lot more thrust than what we've got um but like we'll see how it goes and then we'll of course make it neutrally buoyant again uh that one okay like i i honestly don't know oh my god i'm getting messaged on steam i'm getting texted like whole conversations i've got people in discord messaging me like i i wasn't popular 20 minutes ago i swear to god i swear to god before i started streaming today the, no one cared if i lived or died everyone was just like whatever he's just a dude and now it's like no one will leave me alone and I don't know what's going on. Am I going to do the plane that goes into it? Yeah, eventually. We'll do that with the wings mod. Not today, though. Today, I just want to focus on getting the blimp working. And then uh, I'll probably do the plane on my own in my own time. And, and then do a video kind of showing the two of them together. Um, let's put more stuff here. Just to kind of help offset the weight of these thrusters. I honestly don't know what the ratio is of thruster to helium material, but... But I'm not even joking, like, my brother is messaging me and texting me and stuff, and it's like, I don't get that many texts in a day, guys. Okay, is it going, it's going up now. It wants to go up. No, it wants to go down a little bit. It needs a little bit more weight. Can we, can we? A little bit more floating power. Alright. So, in theory, if we press 1... It releases that weight and then we go up right and if we let go of one it stops and if we press two it increases the weight and we go down and they should go up at the same speed right so we can press one and it will go up so that's good spamming him in discord is not gonna work no like it's it's what's up yeah no I, I like i get all the discord messages it's just it's it, like it, it's not gonna beat me make a logic animation in scrap mechanic that's cool there's actually a mod that has in blocks that are invisible until you activate them so if you want to make animations and stuff that's the way to do it um okay so that that works so the one and two for up and down work again we move really really slow 
Should probably put those on a switch so we don't have to hold them. But again, it's a blimp. Like, I'm not... I don't care if it moves fast or slow. So, W. Okay, so it moves forward at, like, a crawl. Okay, so it needs it needs a lot more... It needs a lot more thrust. Okay, that's fine. Can, got a trap. So, we'll crank all these up to max first and see how that makes a difference. And then we'll have to probably add more to do the same thing. And then we should literally be good to just uh, set up some really basic autopilot loops. And uh, and then, you know, some extra controls. So that, for example, when you turn on autopilot, you can't activate the up or down switches. So it has to stay level when it's on autopilot. Stuff like that. That's really easy to do, though. Just a couple AND gates. Alright, so that should be good. Um... Yeah, and actually, we'll just we'll just have to do these. Hold on. Knew those as and gates first, and then this one is a nor gate. Wait. There we go. Two, and then that was that one. Okay. Now that's already set up for autopilot mode. Okay, so we're good. One goes up. Two goes down. Uh, w goes forward. Extremely slowly. But it does move forward. I feel like we're a little bit front heavy. We need to put maybe a little bit more helium in the front. Okay, so one W goes forward. S goes in reverse then. And then A and D turn. How's the, how's the turning? Do we even turn? That's pretty bad. Okay, you know, let's just put a lot more thrusters in this. And then, of course, we're going to sink. We'll have to put more helium and yada, yada, yada. We'll balance the equation. Okay, so that's fine. So we'll, we'll just put a, a boatload more. And we'll put some logic gates down as well. Your stream is very later or your chat is. I don't think so. It seems pretty good to me. Try refreshing. Sometimes you'll fall out of sync. Have you seen the new mod packs coming out? Yes, I have, actually. I haven't done a video on them yet. I gotta do a video on them. But I have seen the new mod packs, and um, I think the new blocks are really, really cool. Um, a lot of cool stuff that's gonna be added with that new mod pack that's really gonna change, um, especially how we do logic connections, for sure. Alright, so that'll be it. Six on each side. And then after this, we literally just set up a simple autopilot circuit, and I think uh, I'll call this build done for now. I'll probably be making a few more changes to it um, as uh, you know, as I build the biplane, but I'm definitely not going to do those on stream because I still got to go eat and stuff. So got to get that done for today, and then answer my million flipping messages. All right, so there. And you know what? We're actually just going to remove these extra ones because we're just going to remake all the connections because it'll be easier than trying to do them any other way. Yeah, I might I might try and make this go up and down a little bit faster, but I'm not going to do that in the stream. I mean, to make it go up and down faster, I think what we got to do is have more helium and then more counterweight blocks. So more of these weights that are always on um, and then combine that with more helium. But it's again, it's gonna be like a, a never-ending balancing act And I think I'm gonna wait until I've got the biplane hooked on anyways Because then we're also gonna need to have a bunch of those counterweight blocks for when the biplane is on So when the biplane's attached, you need the counterweight And as soon as the biplane detaches, you need the counterweight to go away Otherwise, you, uh, you'll, your blimp will start floating off, right? So we need to do all that stuff, so Yeah, it'll, it'll happen eventually, but not today, I don't think, because that's just a lot more of, of sitting around and not... Si sorry, it's a lot more, like, just really fine-tuning that's just got to be done. Um, so, you know what? We'll just do this. Is it just three? It's just three, right? Yeah. Okay, so you'll be for all the forward stuff. But 
and then we'll adjust all the thrust on them. So this is the uh, the painful part. So one thing I hate about big creations compared to smaller ones is you spend so much time repeating the same stuff that you've had to do before. Whereas it's like with smaller creations, you don't have like, like, you know, you wouldn't have 24 thrusters that you have to, this should be more than enough though now for the blimp. Like there's no reason why this is not enough. 24, 12 going forward, 12 going back, 12 going left and 12 going right. It should, uh, it should be more than enough. Right. And then this one. It's not delayed. Yeah, it's not delayed for me. It's not delayed for for Blue Flame either. Game needs copy and paste for components. Yeah, I mean, the game... Yeah, I mean, it's got, like, you know, you can obviously take something and make it weld it, but, like, other than that, you just need to have... Like, if you want to have a whole series of logic connection, then... Well, and then I guess you could use Brent's Blueprint Editor, which has copy and paste for everything, pretty much. Don't worry, guys. So, we're almost done. And then uh, once we've got this all slapped up, put in some more helium to make the thing float. And then we'll be good to uh, do the final step, which is, of course, the autopilot, which is really, really simple. It's just a simple timing loop. So when you activate it, it starts a timer that goes around a loop, activating thrusters and then activating the turns. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much it's pretty much the easiest thing in the world, really. But who knows how, how much we've almost been steering for two hours we might just get the blimp yeah we should have time to, to put a simple autopilot on it you know what might not be perfect we'll have to redo it but it's okay all right almost done like that okay and then right the one thing i would like though is that you could place thrusters and adjust the power level before you place them that would be amazing so you're not always sitting there i mean like adjust you could always adjust the default values in the config files but like it would be nice to just have it done by default because you could be like hey for this creation i'm gonna use only max level thrusters let's place them all like that was the biggest pain when i was doing all the hover city stuff way back in the day it was like hover city here's 500 thrusters on a creation have fun going through and balancing them all so that it actually you know floats and it's like why okay perfect all right we're pretty much we're pretty much done here though like this is this is almost almost coming to the finale of actually being able to drive this thing okay so w was this one which is that direction yeah w is this way so that's u uh s is this one at the back and then doesn't really matter which way a and d is because we'll just reverse it if it's wrong you just got to make sure you do opposite corners. So this one goes there and there. And then this one will just they crisscross on the back end. Right. And then we'll see if this thing floats. Probably doesn't. No, it sinks a little bit. Oh, oh, does it? Hold on. Yeah, still sinks a little bit. Okay, so we'll put a little bit more helium blocks, and then uh, we should be good to go here. Um, you know what? Yeah, let's just do... It's probably too much. Nope. Good. Oh, yo, Cosmodo. Yes, Cosmodo, the original guy who crashed the plane into the blimp. We'll have to redo that video at some point in time once the uh, once this blimp is actually up and running with a plane in it. Um, it doesn't... It, it seems like it still wants to sink a little bit here. Hold on. We'll just... A few more blocks. Uh, let's put more at the front. And, uh, yeah, we'll put more... Oh, we can do another layup here. Hold on. 
the heck? There we go. That's that's okay. Okay, this is impossible to tell. Like, let's put this up on a lift. Hold on. There we go. Does the initial sink? Now, what happens when it stops? I think it's still sinking ever so slightly. Thrusters are heavy. Holy cow. How heavy are thrusters? Like, jeez. Literally just suck the weight out of the stupid thing. Okay, there we go. We put more there. Okay, that should be that should be good, right? Like there's no way we're still No, there we go. You know, we'll, we'll call it like that for now. It's good enough. We'll have to rebalance it of course with the plane anyways. So, uh here we go. Let's go nope, down. That's the wrong button. Let's go up. All right. And let's go W. Oh, see, that's a good speed. I like that speed. That's a good that's a good blimp speed. Not too fast, not too slow. You don't want your blimp going like crazy fast. How's my turning? Okay, well, my turning's reversed, which is the first problem. Second problem is it's literally not powerful enough to, to do anything. I think there's too many drag blocks. I think I think we're fighting ourselves with all these drag blocks. Literally think that's part of the problem. Okay, so it does turn. It's just a snail's pace to turn the whole thing. This might be faster than the last blimp. I mean, maybe. It's not. It's definitely not that quick. It needs more thrust to turn 100%. Like, a lot more. Like, double of what it's got, at least. That is so incredibly slow to turn. I mean, it, it definitely goes... It's just it won't it doesn't even it doesn't even want to turn okay we need we need more we oh my god this is just like ridiculous just more and more thrust um right so we'll just do uh we might as well make this out of helium blocks because we're gonna need to put more helium blocks on it anyways Okay. Do a whole new whole new set. Crank all these up. And then of course we'll uh we'll have to have another holy this is this i thought this was gonna be a lot less work guys i really did i didn't think i would have to spend so much time trying to make this work snail speed active yeah pretty much and don't worry if you miss the stream i'm still trying to make this stupid blimp fly faster than a snail also we're tilting I'm just going to remove all the drag blocks for now. Call me crazy. Are we tilting because this door's out and that door's not out? Is that is that really what's happening? All right, I do have to run soon though, because Scrapman just messaged me. I guess he wants to record multiplayer, so I gotta, I gotta do that, because we got you know multiplayer Monday. But we're gonna, we're gonna make this thing work. Um, we might not get the, we might not get the streaming. All right, we're gonna we're gonna finish this up. We'll see if we get an autopilot or not. But uh, if Scrammy wants to record, we might have to we might have to run and do that. Okay, we'll get this.
This is excessively ridiculous. Like, okay. I probably shouldn't have taken out all the thrusters that I used before on the previous blimp. But, I mean, I, half of them I didn't even know what they were for. So, that's kind of the issue. All right. Almost done. Hey, Con. First stream of yours. I've been early enough to watch. And I plan on making a Gatling gun using a flat gun with the Intelligenti mod. That's awesome. I made a block to reduce drag on a creation because SM has drag. Actually, that's that's a really good idea. That would mean I could use way less thrusters for this. Anti-drag block. Oh well, too late for that. Alright, almost done all this garbage and then uh, we'll just have to connect it all up. Please shout out, what's up? Random Banana Plays. That's a interesting name. Can you do a dirt bike death race for multiplayer Monday? Uh, I don't, I don't really know how, what, like, what, what's the death part of the dirt bike death race? Make the bikes out of cardboard and shoot each other or something, or? Alright, this should be it, I think. I hope. If I need more controls than this, then I think we might have to use, like, you know the anti-drag block but i think this should be more than enough like there's no reason why having 24 thrusters for each of the movements okay there we go so that's that of course we're gonna need more helium so we'll just uh you know we'll just do like a big big chunk of it here Something like that. Okay, now let's go fix up the back. Gotta connect it all up and do another big chunk of helium in the middle. Yeah, okay. Da, da, da. You know what my favorite part about Scrap Mechanic is? All the connections I've done. You know what would be a really cool stat to see? If Scrap Mechanic had, like, how many total connections have you made in the total time you've been playing Scrap Mechanic? Because I've got, I've got to be up in, like, you know, the hundreds of thousands at this point. I can, like, I don't even know how many connections I've made. It's been ridiculous. I'd love to see that stat, though. It'd be just some insanely stupid number. Like, oh, yeah, you've, you've actually spent, like, three and a half hours straight. Well, I've spent longer than three and a half hours straight. It's like, you spent three days straight just making connections. Be a cool number. I, I don't know. You're so cool for inspiring your creative and my role model. Thanks for the stream. No worries, Eliza. Thank you for chopping in. I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have a, a stream if uh, if you guys didn't show up. So I really do appreciate all you guys who do come by the channel, and support the channel and watch my videos. And uh, okay, we're gonna get up. It looks pretty pretty balanced actually. It's not. I'm not gonna complain about that. We're gonna get up in here. We're gonna close the door. So the weight's not off, okay. We've got, so two goes down still, one goes up still. Okay, good. Forward. Oh okay, yeah, now the blimp's got speed. Now we've definitely got some speed. Kind of rises up a little bit, but not too bad. Okay, what about turning? Turning is still... Absolute trash. Interesting. So the, the turning is still trash. We've definitely got forward and reverse speed, but the turning is... The turning is poop. Needs more, needs more turning. Needs a lot more turning. It's also a little front light. All right, let's uh, let's 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 um, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. There we go. Okay, no, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. All right, all right. Scrapman is here, I believe, in the chat. So, uh, if you guys want to say hi, you can go at Scrapman in the chat. I'm pretty sure he's here. At Scrapman. 
Yeah, look at that. See, at Scrapman, he's in the chat. Right? So, uh, just wanted to let you guys know that's a thing. Uh, might as well say hello to Scrapman. We do have to go record our Multiplayer Monday. By the way, guys, Multiplayer Monday this week is just going to be myself and Scrapman. The other two gents are busy. So, the question, of course, is what the heck do you guys think we should do for Multiplayer Monday? Seeing as how it's only two of us. Post your comments in the chat now. Best comment will get a high five. Alright, hopefully that's enough to spin this thing. I really don't know. Need two player suggestions. Yeah, see, there's Scrapman's got it. You guys, give Scrapman all your comments here while I add more steering thrust. Because, like, steering thrust is just, you know, whatever. But yeah, give him, give him your two player suggestions for multiplayer money preferably ones that aren't ridiculous because you know that would that would help something that's actually doable would be great hopefully this is enough to turn this stupid thing the, the blimp turning sucks needs a lot more Man, I, I love increasing thruster power. It's literally my favorite thing to do in this game. Like, I could sit here all day and just increase thruster power and then decrease it again just to increase it again. I would I would love if the game devs made, like, a thruster power increasing system that just automatically, like, over time, it just decreases your thruster power just so you have to go back and re-increase it. I Like, that would be the best. Call it thruster power simulator. Um, it's going to be a top seller. All right, is that good? Is that, like, this is probably still gonna be garbage trying to turn. Two, no, one, one is up. Yeah. Okay. Oh, actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. We've got some success here. Oh, look at that turning. Okay, it's front heavy now. We don't have enough. Uh, we don't have enough helium here. We've actually got some turning. There we go. We've got some moderate success. You know, I might still need to put a gyro back in this. After all, it might it might tilt too much. But we're just gonna you know we're gonna fill in the rest of this, and see if that's enough to offset all these new thrusters we've added. And uh, and then we'll go for a little fly around, and then I'm gonna end the stream. I know I haven't done the autopilot. I don't worry, guys. There there will be a video where I completely remake this blimp back to the way it was. Might have to put a gyro in it, not sure, but uh, we will have the plane again with the wings mod as well, and I will finish up this blimp and make it magical. Um, fill it up here too. It'll happen eventually, don't worry. I haven't forgotten about it. I've been meaning to do this for a long time, actually rebuild this. And that's why I was like, you know what? I'm just going to stream it because then I can I can have it done. And then rebuild the biplane as well. All right, so that'll be that. Um, like, I don't, I don't know if I really want more in the back. I don't think we need it. I think it's just front heavy, right? Okay. Drop. That's a quick blimp now, though. All right, how's turning? Oh, yeah, no, that's pretty good. See, it's, it tips down when it turns for some reason. I think maybe it's too much in the back. Maybe it's too much lift in the back. Yeah, when you turn, I mean, it stays, it stays good on the roll. But when you turn it, it tips down. Which is weird. So definitely need some hold on we need we'll just remove some helium in the back that'll be fine or we'll just add some weight in the back one or the other all right almost done here guys almost done 
All right, we're gonna we're gonna take a, a little bit of helium in the back, like this giant swath of it. All right, and then this is probably too heavy now. Yeah, but you know what? For now, we'll test it because it's gonna it's gonna have to go anyways. So we'll see. Hopefully, this flies straight. Definitely tilts less when you're turning it. Still tilts a little bit. That's fine. We'll put some helium blocks in the front. I love this uh, this earthquake that's happening right now inside this blimp. It's crazy. Yeah, no. Can Oh, my God. Scrap mechanic. Oh, my God. Game. Why are we... Why... Like... The mod all of a sudden start working? Like, oh my god, this game. Sometimes, I swear. Okay, here we go. The final test of the new and improved blimp. Here we go. Gonna jump in. It's gonna work. Better close that door to keep the weight even. I think I'm definitely gonna have to put the gyro back in and have some simple roll controls just to keep it stable. Maybe pitch controls as well. Yeah, it still likes to pitch down when you give it... When you give it rotating to the left or to the right like if you turn it if we go straight it doesn't seem to want to do that but if we turn it it seems to want to pitch down i don't know what it is when we turn but i'm definitely gonna have to fix that that's it's a really weird really weird thing but it does work on helium now which is kind of cool so the blimp i mean it is even though we're flying kind of nose down we can go up we can go down so that's good definitely Definitely don't know what the heck is going on there. But anyways, guys, of course, let me know what you think of this of the, this build in the comments down below once this becomes a, a VOD. And uh, while you're at it, hit that like button if you haven't yet. And uh, I will be coming out with... We can't, even, we can't even go up here. This is like the Titanic of blimps. Um, but I will, of course, fix this up in a, in a video at some point in time. It's definitely weird how this mod works. It de definitely needs more balancing, too. But... Let me know what you think, of course, in the comments and in the stream. I do have to run, though. Got to record some multiplayer with the good old-fashioned Scrapman. So, be doing that here very, very shortly for, you know, the good old multiplayer Monday. You can see, look at this. Look at how stable that looks, though. That looks great. And then you start turning and it tilts. So, I'll definitely have to adjust it. But, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. We'll see you all next time. Bye.